just about, but actually it's a, an immense amount of hard work. So it would be hard work living on Jupiter. <laughs> One of the popular themes in science fiction is we use matter and antimatter, combine them to produce almost limitless energy. Brian Cox, without hesitation, repetition or deviation, can you please explain for us as succinctly as possible? From that. So it's a simple rule. It says, what's the probability a particle will move from A to B? That's it. Has CERN's epic Large Hadron Collider finally gone too far in the name of science? Scientists were thrilled when CERN unveiled the Large Hadron Collider, a state-of-the-art particle accelerator designed to unravel cosmic mysteries and make breakthroughs in the world of quantum physics. Each new step or development had them eagerly anticipating the unveiling of a new dimension. News flash! It did reveal a new dimension, but with alarming consequences. Recently, a renowned physicist at CERN, Brian Cox, issued a devastating warning that their latest experiment could lead to the destruction of the Earth. How did CERN get here? Is there a way out of this? Let's find out. Brian Cox, a British physicist and professor, has made big waves in the science world for his groundbreaking work in particle physics, especially with his contributions at the renowned CERN laboratory. Being at the heart of the action, working on experiments to detect particles at crazy high energies. His research has helped uncover some of the fundamental building blocks of our universe. Then if you were going feet first, your feet would be accelerating faster than your head. So you would be stretched and you would be quite literally spaghettified. But beyond the lab, Cox has become a science superstar. He's brought complex ideas from quantum physics and cosmology into everyday living rooms through vibrant TV shows like Wonders of the Solar System and Wonders of the Universe. Not only that, he embraces opportunities to educate and inspire through best-selling books, sold-out speaking events, and even TikTok. In an age when truth and expertise face backlash, he stands as an advocate for science's role in society. Thanks to his work and astonishing revelations, more people have come to understand the abstract and remote nature of particle physics may seem. Supporting these big science projects leads to human progress. So while he's made his scientific mark discovering fundamental particles, Brian Cox's bigger legacy may be his gift for making science irresistibly fascinating to the rest of us. Wherever the cosmic journey leads, we know Cox will be there to serve as our guide through the universe's endless wonders. Now, while he has brought good tidings in the past, his recent revelation about the latest CERN innovation left a bitter taste in the mouths of every cosmic enthusiast as it insinuated deadly consequences for the planet we have come to know as home. To annihilate matter, you make an incredible amount of energy per kilogram, right? That's what antimatter. Before revealing these consequences, let's delve into what brought about this innovation that is threatening our planet. You know how sometimes you have this gnawing curiosity about something, like, why is the sky blue? Or do parallel lines ever meet? Well, back in the 20th century, physicists had that itch they just couldn't scratch about the deep mysteries of our universe, except their questions were a little more complex than ours might be. They had been piecing together this theoretical model called the Standard Model, to try and unravel particles and forces down to their core to explain what exactly makes up our universe. But even after all their hard work developing this model, it was like a jigsaw puzzle with missing pieces. They still couldn't figure out essential things like why particles have mass, the role of gravity at a quantum level, or even why antimatter doesn't blow everything up. And what had them in a stir was discovering this proposed particle called the Higgs boson. The standard model predicted it would be the cosmic gift giver bestowing mass upon other particles, but they couldn't prove this particle existed. So all these unsolved cosmic mysteries and missing puzzle pieces started to drive physicists up the wall. They knew if they could unlock the secrets of particle physics and finally track down that Higgs particle, it could revolutionize our understanding of physics and what makes our universe the way it is but they needed some ridiculously powerful machine to make that happen. They needed to peer deeper into the quantum world and turn up the juice on their experiments big time. We're talking unprecedented, mind-boggling particle power. And so, 
the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, was born. The construction of the LHC was no small feat. Imagine a massive tunnel, 27 kilometers in circumference, hidden 100 meters beneath the Earth's surface. That's where the LHC resides, stretching beneath the France-Switzerland border near the vibrant city of Geneva. The LHC is a scientific marvel, the largest and most powerful particle accelerator in the world. It was the brainchild of the European Organization for Nuclear Research, also known as CERN. This groundbreaking project aims to unravel the secrets of the universe by delving into the fundamental nature of matter and the mysterious forces that govern its interactions. To bring this ambitious vision to life, scientists needed to overcome tremendous technological challenges. Particle accelerators had been around for decades, but the LHC demanded unprecedented levels of energy and precision. It required ingenious advancements in magnet technology, vacuum systems, cooling mechanisms, and computing power. It wasn't an easy feat, but with the efforts of thousands of scientists from over 100 countries, universities, and laboratories of the world, this technological feat was engineered into reality. The LHC resides in a gigantic circular tunnel, approximately 27 kilometers, about 17 miles in circumference, lurking 100 meters beneath the Earth's surface. This underground giant houses the magnificent accelerator, where particles dance and collide in a mesmerizing display of scientific inquiry. The LHC was an innovative engineering feat, testing all kinds of new technologies as it was a key that could hopefully unlock mysteries of the universe. Imagine superconducting magnets operating at temperatures colder than outer space. The LHC uses these superconducting magnets to steer two high-energy particle beams hurtling close to the speed of light. When the time is right, these particles collide with an explosive force, unleashing a burst of energy that is enough to make your jaw drop. Intriguingly, the LHC's particle acceleration process begins with something quite simple, a bottle of hydrogen gas. This gas is ionized to produce protons, which are then injected into a linear accelerator named LINAC-2. Here, in the accelerator's radio frequency cavities, the protons gain their first jolt of energy, catapulting them to 50 mega electron volts. The newly energized protons then make their way to the proton synchrotron booster. Through a combination of more radio frequency pulses and precisely directed magnetic fields to corral the particle beam, the booster accelerates the protons to 1.4 giga electron volts. Now packing some serious energy, the protons are injected into the grand sounding proton synchrotron ring that uses magnetic power and radio frequency finesse to accelerate the protons to 25 giga electron volts. Not content with that output, the protons are then transferred to the superproton synchrotron. This beast of an accelerator propels the protons to 450 giga electron volts, a tremendous increase that makes them ready for their ultimate challenge. At last, the protons are injected into the main event, the Large Hadron Collider itself. Guided by the strongest superconducting magnets in existence, the protons zoom through twin beam pipes in opposite directions. Inside the pipes, radio frequency cavities provide the final kick of energy needed to accelerate the protons to an astonishing 6.5 tera electron volts each, a simply gigantic increase from their humble beginnings, with the protons now circulating at almost the speed of light and carrying unprecedented energy, they are smashed together inside different detectors, these epic collisions produce particles and energies that allow researchers to probe the fundamentals of matter and the mysteries of the universe itself. With the LHC at our disposal, we're one step closer to comprehending the fundamental nature of our existence. And who knows what incredible discoveries lie in wait just beyond the veil of our current understanding. What technological feats has the LHC brought about? Did the labors of the scientists pay off? Yes, it did massively. The LHC is like a time machine, has stretched the limits of technology farther than ever, giving us an intriguing glimpse into the very origins of the universe. This powerful particle accelerator has led physicists on a journey of discovery that shapes our understanding of the elemental building blocks of matter. One groundbreaking finding was the detection of the Higgs boson in 2012, the infamous God particle that had evaded scientists for nearly 50 years. 
This elusive particle, which gives mass to other fundamental particles, was predicted by theory decades ago but had never been glimpsed in experiments. By smashing protons together at tremendous energies, the LHC finally created Higgs bosons and observed their almost immediate decay into other particles. This crowning validation of the standard model not only solved a long-standing puzzle, but opened up new questions about the quantum mechanics underlying our material world. It confirmed theories about an invisible energy field that gives particles their mass. Learning this led to advances in multiple areas. Just as exciting is how the LHC recreates the hot soup of quarks and gluons that existed microseconds after the Big Bang. We're talking trillion-degree liquid here, 10 times hotter than the core of the Sun. By colliding lead nuclei in the LHC, researchers can study this dense, quark-gluon plasma under controlled conditions. Already they have found tantalizing hints about how this primordial state transitions into normal matter made of protons and neutrons. Analyzing this primordial plasma teaches us about the strong nuclear force binding together the building blocks of atoms. Most recently, researchers have spotted weird chunks of matter called pentaquarks within the particle collisions created inside the LHC. So instead of your normal protons and neutrons formed from three quarks, they are stitched together from five quarks and tied by the strong nuclear force into a single fleeting entity, the pentaquark. The theory of quantum chromodynamics describes the complex dance of quarks, and pentaquarks are allowed to exist within this quark tango, but finding them is another story. That's why the LHC scientists are so pumped. It's the first time they've seen these five quark combos in action. The implications are pretty huge all around. It tells us something new about the intense forces holding quarks together inside bigger particles. Most of all, it expands our view into the hidden quantum foundations holding up reality itself. Who knows, probing these weird quantum realms could uncover entirely new subatomic particles or hitherto unknown physical principles. One thing's for sure. With its pentaquark discovery, the LHC proves it still has a lot more secrets about our quantum world's inner workings left to spill. Also, the collider's extreme number of collisions, hitting 140 times per bunch, demanded new innovations in particle optics and detection, and after upgrades by 2025, it will multiply its collision intensity tenfold. This boost in power will let scientists spot rarer particles and gain better data to test theories about the beginnings of our universe. An even greater cosmic mystery lies around dark matter, the invisible substance comprising over 80% of matter in the universe by mass. So far, no dark matter particles have materialized out of the LHC's collisions. But by ruling out various theoretical candidates, LHC experiments are helping to corner elusive dark matter, narrow the search, and help reveal the nature of this invisible matter for the first time. Whatever this substance turns out to be, it must have some sophisticated particle interactions to avoid detection so far. Of course, there are innovations in areas like transportation, computing, AI, and more stemming from the high-tech wizardry powering the LHC. So you see, this scientific wonder above Geneva continues to inspire technological creativity with applications well beyond particle physics alone from astrophysics to medical technologies to the global sharing of ideas. Who knows what innovation and discovery lay beyond its next run? By testing the standard model's predictions about known particles with ever greater precision, the LHC continues looking for deviations that could lead to exciting new physics. So far, the standard model has passed with flying colors while tantalizing some physicists with slight anomalies here and there, giving us a fuller picture of the way Einstein's work expanded on Newton's earlier foundations. Will these grow into breakthrough discoveries as more data accrues? Time will tell. By exploring uncharted high-energy territories, the LHC can produce unknown particles that hint at new forces beyond those we currently know. While no new particles have emerged yet, their absence still guides theorists toward elegant new models of reality. Apart from the advancements the Large Hadron Collider has brought, does it have any negative consequences for humans? This machine has been termed a two-edged sword by experts. The sheer power of the Large Hadron Collider has sparked the imagination of scientists. 
and this possibly is what Brian Cox was trying to bring to our attention. Before unveiling Brian's warning, let's consider the dangers this massive particle collider could pose. This monumental machine accelerates particles to nearly the speed of light and crashes them together with enough energy to simulate conditions seconds after the Big Bang. Now that's power. As wondrous as the LHC may be, some theorists speculate its intense energy collisions could have unintended and potentially dangerous consequences. While these scenarios pushes the boundaries of what is currently understood or accepted in the field of physics, they present intriguing what-ifs. Some scientists worry that the very high-energy particle collisions created by the LHC could have unforeseen effects. One theory is that these collisions might cause quantum entanglement, where particles become connected so that actions on one particle instantly affect the other, even from very far away. This entanglement may impact our brains and ability to process memories. The theory suggests these quantum effects could lead to the strange Mandela effect, some people describe, shared false memories or confusion about past events. Now this is still an unproven idea, but it tries to explain how modern physics experiments could subtly shape the way we remember things without us realizing it. And it does to show that there's so much we have yet to understand about particle physics and our universe's origins. Most physicists agree these dire LHC disaster scenarios are exceptionally unlikely, if not impossible. The LHC has been running for over a decade without mishap. But the universe holds far more mysteries than our knowledge can penetrate. To lend credence to the Mandela effect hypothesis, there are suspicions from some scientific authorities like physicists Thomas Weiler and Chui Man Ho that the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, can be used for time travel. According to them, if the LHC did have the power to reshape reality more extremely, its intense energy experiments could conceivably manipulate the basic fabric of space and time. By smashing particles together at nearly the speed of light, scientists create brief bursts of unimaginable heat and pressure, which may deform space itself or create exotic particles that destabilize our notion of reality. Picture it like a temporary tear through the fabric of our universe, branching off a new alternate reality. It is highly speculative, but logically it makes some sense. Manipulating time, space, matter, and energy radically enough may shift us into parallel worlds. While very hypothetical, we should at least pause to consider reality-changing side effects before experimenting at such extreme scientific limits unexplored by humanity. The LHC pushes boundaries that sound like science fiction, but may blur the line between fiction and fact more than we ever anticipated. Our universe's physical properties, at the largest and smallest scales, remain mysterious enough that we must keep an open and vigilant mind. While the prospect of creating time travel via the LHC might enable humanity to achieve feats once only imaginable in science fiction, such as exploring the cosmos or even navigating time, these capabilities also harbor a dark side, the potential for catastrophic weapon development or reality-altering consequences. Here is how. If stabilized, wormholes could act as channels for malicious destruction, they might enable the instantaneous, undetectable delivery of conventional explosives or weapons of mass destruction WMDs, to any location, eliminating the possibility of defense or detection. Similarly, they could facilitate unprecedented levels of surveillance, espionage, and the transportation of illicit materials or individuals across the universe. Furthermore, mastering traversable wormholes could allow for manipulation of the very fabric of space-time. It would be possible to alter significant historical events like erasing individuals, nations, or entire civilizations from our timeline. Such interference could lead to radical and unpredictable divergences from the intended course of history. Weapons designed to exploit wormholes could enable targeted yet completely untraceable destruction across vast distances. They could also facilitate illicit trade, smuggling, and the covert movement of criminals. The energies required to weaponize wormholes could also be directed against celestial bodies, using phenomena like the Kugelblitz effect to destroy planets or even stars. Tampering with space-time might have unintended universal consequences, destabilizing cosmic structures 
altering gravitational forces or triggering cataclysmic events. Moreover, the uncontrolled side effects of creating breaches in space-time continually carry their risks, potentially destabilizing the atomic structure of reality as we know it. Now, let's consider another angle to the dangers the LHC could expose us to. As much as CERN's Large Hadron Collider, LHC, a remarkable scientific endeavor holds the potential for transformative discoveries that could revolutionize our understanding of the universe. If this powerful machine were to be used to create dangerous weapons, the consequences for humanity would be dire, with extremely devastating effects. One cause for concern lies in the realm of energy-related weapons, Imagine a world where the immense energies generated by the LHC are redirected toward developing advanced energy-based weapons. High-powered lasers, capable of slicing through solid structures with ease, could become a terrifying reality. Just envision the devastating impact of a laser weapon that can cut through armored vehicles like a hot knife through butter, rendering traditional defenses useless. Scary, right? The destructive power of such a weapon could cause unimaginable harm, leading to widespread loss of life, cities reduced to rubble and the collapse of entire nations, causing devastating destruction on a scale we have never witnessed before. Another area of apprehension arises from the field of materials science. Discoveries related to superconductors and advanced materials, which could be made through LHC experiments, may pave the way for the development of highly efficient electrical systems. Again, imagine a scenario where the breakthroughs achieved at CERN pave the way for the development of advanced weaponry or propulsion systems. Highly efficient electrical systems derived from superconducting materials could be used to power futuristic war machines. These weapons might possess unmatched speed, agility, and stealth capabilities, making them nearly impossible to defend against. In this case, Battles could be fought with advanced aircraft that effortlessly evade radar systems and strike with lethal precision, or with soldiers equipped with superhuman strength and resilience. The risks associated with the development and use of these advanced weapons extend beyond their destructive power. Ethical and moral concerns come to the forefront. The potential for misuse, including the targeting of civilians, the violation of human rights, and the escalation of conflicts, raises serious ethical questions. Imagine the creation of highly sophisticated targeting systems that utilize quantum technology to track individuals with unparalleled precision. With this, privacy would be a thing of the past, as governments or malicious entities who seek to wield their destructive force could monitor our every move, exploiting our vulnerabilities and manipulating our lives. The potential for abuse and the violation of fundamental human rights would be tremendous, with devastating consequences for personal freedom and in no time, the world could be pushed into a state of chaos and disorder, with dire consequences for humanity. As terrifying as these are, they don't in any way come close to Braincox's latest discovery of what the LHC is capable of doing. What terrifying revelation did Brian Cox make about the LHC? Now to the part we were eagerly waiting for. According to him, the Hadron Collider is capable of creating the Big Bang, the same that caused the creation of our universe. While this sounds fascinating, as it would be amazing to see this cosmic creation action, scientists have come to discover that this Big Bang is capable of creating black holes that may lead to our planet being destroyed. Here's where things get a bit scary. Scientists have realized that this recreated Big Bang could also create a black hole. Black holes are incredibly massive and have a gravity so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape them. And if one of these black holes were to get too close to Earth, let's say it wouldn't be good news for our planet. When a black hole swallows a planet or anything else, it's called accretion. As the object gets closer to the black hole, it starts moving faster and getting hotter because of the black hole's strong pull. This process can make the object give off radiation, which we can detect with telescopes. As the object getting even closer, entering a swirling disk of gas and dust that surrounds the black hole, this disk, called an accretion disk, gets incredibly hot, emitting powerful radiation as the material spirals toward the black hole. This makes the material lose energy and spin faster towards its doom. 
Eventually, the material in the accretion disk gets so close to the black hole that it crosses a point of no return called the event horizon. Once it passes this point, it's pulled into the black hole and disappears. The material gets squeezed and heated to extreme temperatures, releasing intense radiation as it falls into the black hole. In simple terms, with the Big Bang created and the black hole formed, our planet is at risk of being swallowed up, which inadvertently means destruction, or, should we say, extinction of our planet, and we, the dwellers. We really hope that things don't escalate to that point, where we would be in constant fear of what the next minute or second holds for our planet. Thank you for joining us on this episode of our exploration of the cosmos. For updates on the CERN and the LHC, do turn up your subscribe and turn on your notifications. See you soon.